This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, this is the Ramble. Hey, this is Alex. And we go until midnight tonight. And a very good evening to all of you. How are you? Uh, all across the uh, United States of America and around the world and across the nation and up your street and whatever. Anyway. Uh, it's time for us to uh, uh, go and uh, 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 check in with our uh, our panel, but we don't have a panel yet, okay? What we have is one individual, one sloppy little individual that we like to talk to every now and then. So let me just admit him now, and uh, let me see here. There he is. Let me bring him in. There's Phil Meyer. Hello, Phil. Hey, Big Al, the kitty's pal. It, what what is what is that your background? Oh, that's uh the background or the YouTube the, thing. The the background. Oh, that what's that big church, Catholic church on California Street and Knob Hill? It's the Knob Hill Catholic Church, I guess. Well, um this this was a shot taken up at the ceiling. Uh, and there was a ton of these ribbons that were hanging from the ceiling. It was an art exhibit. Mm. And, oh, uh, okay. So I figured it, it, it made me look holy. And yeah. uh, and then I the, noticed you have a new monitor over in back of you. Oh, that's just an iPad. Oh, that's uh, an iPad. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't need that actually. What do you have that on? Some kind of holder or something? Yeah, I have a stand. Here, I'll turn this off. Yeah. Well, you and, don't have to turn it off, but yeah, yeah, I have I have a stand that that holds the iPad. Why? Uh, I use it for work. Uh, I have this program that I'm mm -hmm. learning how to use. I can bring it into a room, uh, use my laser uh, measurer, and put the measurements on there, and it draws a floor plan. Oh, okay. And All then right. figures out the quantities and. Uh, tells you how many you know feet of baseboard is in a room and and all of that stuff. It's, yeah. it's pretty interesting. That's cool. Yeah. So guess what's happened in California? No masks. Right. But what are the people doing? Uh, you see, they they do this whether they need it or not. You know, yesterday, of course, if you didn't wear a mask, uh, mm -hmm. they they beat you up. Today, you don't have to wear a mask. But the interesting thing is I went to Whole Foods this afternoon to get a sandwich for lunch. Mm -hmm. uh, people were wearing masks. I went to the bank. Mm -hmm. I checked. People were wearing masks. Uh, went to Walgreens. People wearing masks. Uh, they don't have to wear masks. They don't have to social distance. They don't have to go into a restaurant. At they don't have to, but they're making a choice to, and that's fine, too, isn't it? I don't think it's a choice. I think it's fear. I think what's happening. No, 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 is, no, 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 no. People... Look, look, look at it this way. Have you ever seen a guy that's been locked up in a prison for, you know, 10, 15 years, and then they let him out? And they're, they're, they don't know what to do with this newfound freedom. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what's happening here. People are afraid to make the jump to no mask. I don't think that's the case. I think that people are still playing it safe, some people, but you have the right to do that. Listen, I think we should wear masks uh, uh, throughout the year when we get a cold or during the winter when it's flu season. Uh, I go to other countries and they wear masks all in all those countries, you know, and not for COVID. But that's that's reasonable. You know, right now it's 80, 90 degrees here. And, uh, you know, I think well, you know, I mean, they just did away with the mass mandate in California, maybe a little too early for California. We today did away with everything. Yeah. So so uh, did we. We did away with what well, I mean, everything. 
Yeah. Uh, no, no rules on theaters, gymnasiums, things like that. Okay, and the reason being that we hit uh, seventy thousand, seventy uh, percent uh, vaccinations. Wow, uh, which you haven't yet. Uh, only San Francisco. San Francisco oh, has has reached that. Alan wrote me. He said it's Grace Cathedral. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, um, that, by the way, was the place where Dan White ran to after really? he killed after he killed uh, Moscone and Milk. Yeah, he didn't go to his potato they store. They went to Grace Cathedral, uh, and that's where they caught him. Wow, yeah. uh, I would have figured he went to his potato store on Pier Thirty Nine. Yeah. Well, anyway, back to what we were saying. Uh, yeah. So what we've done is because we are now ninety percent, I guess, we're seventy percent rather, uh, yeah. uh, vaccinated. Uh, that's considered by the CDC herd immunity, and so our governor decided to do two things: number one, to just open up the state completely. All right. And tonight, a big fireworks display mm -hmm. celebrating the end of our COVID. We're locked down. Now, we are uh, the number one least uh, infected state. We have the highest, uh, the lowest, uh, uh, what do you call it, infection rate in the country. Uh, number two is, uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, number two, I think, is New Jersey. Uh, but, uh, but way down is, like, Connecticut is not that doing that well okay well i know some of the southern states are uh are getting uh, uh more infections uh charlie wrote today what there was 300 and something deaths now that that's you know that's a lot fewer and that's 335 nation. deaths is still 335 too many well yeah but you know you know you have that many from eating mcdonald's you know, no, uh, no, 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 Phil. I mean, we're talking about deaths from COVID, okay? They, yes, there are deaths from other things, but from COVID, this thing which we'd like to completely eradicate. You know, we had a thing in this country once called polio, and we got the polio vaccine, and then in the whole world, we got to a point where there wasn't a single case of polio. It's coming back, isn't it? Uh, no, it has did come back, but we, we nipped it in the bud. Eradicated it. Yeah, yeah. Well, what the other ones that are coming back? Uh, uh, it starts with a T. Tuberculosis. Uh, that's 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 one that seems to be uh, rearing. Yeah, its but head. tuberculosis is very curable now. Yeah. We have all the uh, you know all the all the stuff to take care of it, and you know the the drugs and and so on. So that's. Yeah, behind me is Brian's car. Okay, fine. Do I care? Of course you do. It's for sale. Maybe you need a car. Mm -mm. No way I'm getting a car. I don't know if I'm even going to drive ever again. Really? Yeah, I don't know if I can drive again. Um, it's been so long since I've driven that I have this great fear that if I got behind the wheel of a car, I wouldn't know what to do. You know? Well, it wouldn't that the same? And then, I, then I'm always feeling tired these days. So I'm afraid of getting behind the wheel of the car and being a little woozy. You know? I think the tiredness is is stress from being locked up for a year and a half. It could be, but, you know, I mean, I go out, I walk every day today. I did another two miles. Yeah. You know, I did three miles. That's, that's did good. It's still you have the year and a half of confinement that you have to get past. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some you know some walks in the park. Part of it might be all that stuff they did to the prostate and whatever. You know? yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. But uh, but I'm just tired all the time. I just can't stop it. You know, and uh, so I don't know. Yeah. And and I take these pills that make me wonky the next day. These pregabalins. But when I don't take them the next day, I'm just the same way, only more so. And I think that's me coming down off the pregabalin. Yeah. So I'm just think I'm going to be better off taking the pregabalin constantly, you know. But enough of me and my medical Good problems. Time. Hey, uh, how uh, how's your hands feel? My hands are okay. You know, I've been using that stuff a little bit, not a lot. I do it when I'm sitting here. I'm on the blue. You're on the blue. See, they come in different colors, folks. This is the uh, this is the yellow. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this this is the blue, and, and what uh, you do is you take the yellow, okay? Uh -huh. See before, okay, there we go, the yellow, 
and then you pull it out and you start do just doing this and, and I've huh. got I've got some um, problems with uh, uh, arthritis right here you know which my doctor said is the most common place that people get arthritis right okay yeah me and too. so then we just uh, do that a lot and uh, I, I find it's okay I haven't gone up to the higher strength yet because I'm just fine with this strength so far well uh, the interesting thing is, this is uh, old people. This is really old people podcasting. I oh, had some here, this is for our arthritis, and we're taking yeah. this to help it. Yeah. Uh, my hands were kind of weak. Uh, my fingers, my grip uh, was getting weak. And uh, the interesting thing is, tonight, I went over to happy hour over at uh, Ruth's Chris mm -hmm. uh, because Faye's out of town, and uh, you know I got to feed myself. Yeah. And uh, so I had some calamari and some ahi tuna. And I, they have these half uh, lemons. Mm -hmm. and so I just, I picked the lemon up and I squeezed that thing and I just turned it into a, an olive. It was, you know, uh, my hand strength has improved. Oh, it has so. improved. Your hand strength has improved through this? Yeah. Yes, Come absolutely. On. Come on. And then I like, I like putting it back in its little little yeah. thing like that and then if it just sits there it just kind of goes back into being just a, a bunch of it in there and a little bit later I'll, I'll pull it out and you'll see it it happens it gets retain it goes back to its old shape the blue is so strong yeah. that if you let it uh, 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 soft uh, go down to the bottom mm -hmm. it's difficult to get out so I actually put it on its side so I have a place to grip it and uh, but uh, this this has been this yeah. stuff's been God said. But anyway, so out in California, you guys are not, uh, you don't have to have uh, masks anymore. No. Uh, I, uh, I, you know, the other day, this happened to me the other day. I, I think it was on Sunday. I went into the uh, my supermarket and I just walked in, was walking around. All of a sudden I realized I didn't put my mask on. Yeah. That I was so used to now walking around without a mask outdoors, I just walked right into the supermarket and didn't think, hey, you know, and I do carry a mask with me at all times because you might go somewhere where you got to, you know. Yeah, uh, public transportation, those kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah. But did anyone say anything to you about the mask? No, uh, no, nobody said anything to me. Yeah. But then I looked at people around me and I went, oh, they're all wearing masks. Oh, I don't have my mask on. Right, exactly. Marjorie said she did it the other day on the bus. She forgot to put it on on the bus. You know, because but on the bus in California, any form of public transport, including airplanes, uh, you have to wear a mask. Yeah, now, I just booked a flight to Denver. Uh, this will be, I think, it's be my first flight since COVID, and uh, I, I have to go for a carpet convention. Oh, that and, must be great. Oh, it's going to be exciting. Uh, you know, uh, what kind of hookers show up for a carpet convention? Uh, curved needle hookers, you know, uh. when they. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, they they keep you for three days in a hermetically sealed environment. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't get out. Uh, it's it. They keep the room cold so you don't fall asleep. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Where they, is this in Denver? Yeah. How's how's COVID in Denver right now? Well, I don't know, but this is at the... Um... See, I don't know. Like, Marjorie would like to go on a vacation. We'd like to go to Europe. And I said, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Where is it safe right now? What about and, Israel? Huh? Uh, Israel's Oh, yeah. Out. I never, you know, you never in my life did I ever want to go to Israel. That no, is, I actually do. That is not my idea of a good time. I, I actually would like to go and, and, and see it. I think it could be pretty interesting. I'd, I, you, I'd be there with a bunch of Jews, okay? Oh, and Arabs, you know. Uh, and, and, and not really Jews. The, the Israelis, there's a difference. Yeah. They, Israelis they want... are very obnoxious human beings and uh, very self-absorbed. Well, if, if, you're, if, if you were uh, challenged for your uh, future, if, uh, oh, you know, God. if you were thank you, you, thank constantly... You, thank you. Constantly under attack, yeah, you be yeah. a little aggressive too. Yeah, that's why the uh, Black Lives Matter movement exists. Why? For that reason. 
No, I thought it exists so that woman who owns it can buy four houses. No, there way. isn't a woman who owns it. Yeah, she's the... She uh, started uh, it, but she doesn't own it. So how come she ended up with all the money? Is she going to sue people if they say Black Lives Matter and put it on a poster? Yes. She is? Yeah, it's probably copyrighted. No, you, you don't know that. And, and you, you know, don't know I, that. You're making all, claims that aren't true. I go to all of these people's homes and I see the poster, Black Lives Matter, in their window. They've got a placard out on their lawn. And you, you know why they put them there? Mm. Fear. They don't want their windows broken. They want, you know, uh, they, you know they, they fear what maybe happened in Minneapolis to that attorney and his wife. You know, mm. when, the, uh, uh, when the marchers went past their house and decided that they were going to go in there and uh, intimidate them. Mm. And so, yeah, that, this happens all the time, right, Phil? It this happens. Is a constant, constant thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what you do is you pull out one incident and then you make a big deal out of that. How about Portland and Seattle? What about Portland and Seattle? Oh, oh that, that was a, fr a friendly Port riot? P Seattle, uh, P Portland would have been just fine if Trump hadn't sent troops in there. It was a fr it was a decent uh, demonstration. It was peaceful. It was nonviolent, and, and he turned it he turned it into a violent uh, confrontation. Uh, you drinking the Kool Aid? You, you bet know? your life I am did drinking you, that Kool Aid. See, did you see the pictures of of the people with the Molokov cocktails walking around with AK forty seven? The Molokov cocktails. What's a Molokov cocktail? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, they they were throwing, you know, burning things down. All the businesses that got burned down and looted. No, oh, yeah, that that oh, was yeah. Trump's fault. Yep, Come on. yep, yep. Yeah, in fact, okay. the 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 uh, authorities in Portland said it was uh, Trump's fault for moving the troops in. That, uh, that hey, caused that it, caused an escalation in the situation. Oh, it, it's Trump's fault that you got to put gas in your car. Listen, Come I don't on. give a. a, a, a diddly fuck about what is Trump's fault and what isn't Trump's fault because Trump isn't president anymore so yeah, you, in that respect I don't really care well you may not care but you can't blame him for, for the kinds of things that went on and they're still going on every opportunity for a riot seems to uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, burn down people's homes mm -hmm. uh, burn down their businesses yeah uh, their yeah. livelihood. Yeah. It's like Watts all over again. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. It's Watts all over again. Watts, yeah. Watts to begin with, was people burning down their own neighborhood, Phil. And, and, and these, uh, what, these are outside agitators then? Or are these people burning down their own neighborhood? These aren't people. What neighborhoods are burning down? Tell me what are burned down. Uh, many, uh, is it Minneapolis? And... Mm -hmm. uh, there, there, there's been a ton of neighborhoods that have burned down. Uh, uh, believe me, what went on in Minneapolis was not really as bad as it could have been, you yeah. know, considering the situation. As bad as it could have been, and that's okay, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. But blame people who uh, uh, are a little bit pissed off because somebody got choked to death yeah. by a cop. So, uh, so when somebody gets shot by uh, someone of their own race that they don't get upset about. They so, do. They get you know, upset about it. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Phil. How can you say they don't get upset about it? Of course they're upset about that as well. Of course it's, they are. They only, they only crawl out of their uh, out of their cocoon when it's a cop that does it. it because they figure the police department and the cities are, uh, you know, have deep pockets. But you know, when if you look at uh, black on black crime, for instance, that's where the majority of black people get killed is is in their own neighborhoods uh, by their own pe by their own uh, similar race. So, you know, how, how can you how can you blame the cops? Give for, me the uh, statistics on that, Phil. Uh, I'll get them for you. Would you get them uh, for me? I'm sure you will. You'll find them somewhere. I, well, I've seen them. I've seen them. Uh, yes, the fact is that there is a lot of crime in the ghetto areas, which are poor areas. I mean, none of this, none of this, do you rest at the at the lap of poverty? Okay, you know, 
I, wait, I, let me finish, Phil. You, you don't say anything about poverty. The, the great problem and the reason people are, uh, sometimes kill each other off is they live in neighborhoods of great poverty. And it's part of the frustration of putting up with that poverty and the, and the pain of that poverty. Uh, you know, what we don't do is we, we, we try to say this is a black-white issue. There's a lot of different issues. But we don't try to say it's a poverty issue. And we need to uh, attend it more in that way than we have. You have, know? have you seen communities that uh, were impoverished, but uh, they still uh, uh, kept their crime low? No. Uh, I'll tell you one. Uh, I lived in Miami in the early 70s mm. going to school. And uh, I can tell you that the Cuban community. Oh, that fuck was the Cuban, Cuban community. Yeah, but they, they were. They, no, they had, no, no, the you know, Cuban community, the Cuban community are, are right wingers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're right wingers. And, uh, and, and they didn't stop any crime down there. They brought, the Cubans brought crime in there. The Cubans after the Muriel boat li uh, lift, which the was all Car Carter's doing. It's not the it's Muriel fun. boat lift. That was, yeah, a bunch, okay. that was when they brought in a bunch of cigars. Cigars, you know, yeah. Tipperillos. Yeah. Murals. Uh, <laughs> yeah, murals. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, you know what uh, I did with your friend Alan yesterday and uh, Paul from uh, who writes on the show and so forth? We all went to... Paul Ruth who Chris. writes on the show? Paul who writes on the show? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Paul Jung, he writes on your chat. Uh, he's uh, a very nice guy. I don't know if he's on the chat now. But he, uh, he, he writes on on a, on a regular basis. Uh, so anyway, we all went to Ruth Chris. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, why you go to that piece of shit place to eat. Oh, I, I love it there. And Alan brought a uh, really good bottle of Bordeaux. And uh, so we had that. And then we went around the corner to the cigar store. And we uh, were on the patio and we were all smoking cigars. So it was it you, was Alan, and who? Uh, Paul and uh, three other guys. Yeah. Oh, okay. How many of you uh, uh, are overweight? Uh, Alan and me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't have been eating at Ruth. Ruth. Oh, Ruth I, I, uh, I had the ahi tuna, uh, and uh, let's see what else I had. Oh, I had the steak sandwich without the bread. I had them bring it out with uh, uh, with lettuce. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, you know, I'm I'm starting to lose weight. Matter of fact, now that the gyms Spit have reopened, in the fucking ocean. But what? Yeah, what? Now that the gyms have reopened a hundred percent, I uh, I've been looking into this place called Diablo Barbell, <laughs> and what it is is uh, it, it's it, it's expensive, but they uh, deal with your nutrition. Uh, it's it's like a daily thing mm -hmm. where you go there, you have an appointment. The person that works you out is a chiropractor, uh, and um, uh, I, I think it, it might be a, a good idea. But it's expensive. Take that money off the background there. Uh, oh, you you don't. Uh, no, it's like, illegal. I'm like a two dollar bill. No, it's illegal. Yeah, all right. So I don't think you could see any of the things. It's on illegal there. to post photographs of money. Oh. Uh, let me find it. Um, preferences. Oh, uh, also, you know what happened? I my uh, laptop computer has been crashing, and uh, uh, so uh, what? Uh, what's been going on is the uh, I took it into this place today, mm -hmm. and they said, "Oh, well, the reason it's crashing is it's not that it's malware; uh, it's the video board." And so it's a really old Mac, uh, MacBook Pro, mm -hmm. 2010. Mm -hmm. And they 2010. Not... That's an old MacBook Pro. Yeah. Oh, 2010. Okay. Yeah. So they told me that it's not worth fixing. You know, I I use it for stuff. I even though High Sierra is I'm is where I'm stuck. Well, Marjorie's thinking of getting herself a new iPad because she doesn't like hers and she wants a new one. And her company will buy it for her, so. This uh, one's but I big. won't. I'm not going to buy one because the only reason I use my iPad, believe it or not, the only thing I use it for is playing crossword puzzles. Yeah, that's but, it. I keep it in the toilet and I do crossword puzzles while I'm on the can. Nine is too big. What? 
the 12.9 screen, that one that Oh, I you don't have, want that. That's too big. Yeah. It's too big. Uh, you know, I'm thinking that, and I've had it a while, but I'm thinking that maybe just using this program on it and using it on the stand, it's not so bad. But if you, uh, you know, want to hold it and it's just too big. I think the 10 or 11, 10 point something mm -hmm. is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that's good. Uh, so what else is new in your life? Anything? Well, uh, other, other than uh, feasting at Ruth Chris, and since Faye's out of town for three days, mm -hmm. uh, if I want to eat, that's where I have to go. We can bring in the hookers. <laughs> really? Uh, nah, it's only good for peeing. <laughs> so. It's only good for peeing. So what are you using for a green screen now? Uh, the same thing that I had before. Uh, the cloth? Yeah. The cloth and it's it's on a frame. Uh, I, I like what you have. Uh, I think that's a, what I uh, have is terrific because I it just up and down. That's it. You know I don't uh, I, like here. Here's all I have to do to bring it down. Okay. Does it stay it up, on the floor? Do. Yeah. What? Does it stay on the floor or do you tilt it out of the way? It stay. Uh, I I keep it on the floor in back of me. Uh, what? Uh, Mon uh, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Friday night, I put it back, put it against the I'm not wall. worried that you're going to trip over it or something? No. No, if I trip over it, it just goes thunk. You know. Yeah. Oh, it's you go thunk. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I go, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Especially you if know. you're not wearing shoes. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, what else is going on in the world? Well, your boy Netanyahu's out. Yeah, one vote. But he's one, he's one pull, he's pulling a uh, uh, what do you call it? I I should get rid of this here right there. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, Netanyahu says that he got ripped off. Yeah, I know. Netanyahu's pulling a Trump. Yeah, that he is. He, that he is pulling. Hey, the other people put together a coalition. He he had the same chance to uh, put together a coalition, and he lost by one vote. Yeah, I, mean, I think he's a piece of shit. So I'm glad he's out of there. Yeah. Well, we'll see what your uh, what your brother brother is going to do. All right, brother. Oh, you mean Bennett? Yeah, <laughs> that, what's it, Natalie Bennett? Natalie Bennett uh, or something like that. Yeah. yeah now I, I understand he's real right wing, maybe even more right wing than uh, Netanyahu. Yeah, but Netanyahu had a problem. You know what the problem Netanyahu had is the problem that a lot of people have. Took when cigars. They, no, when they when they when they're in office too long. They yeah. get a sense of uh, uh, ownership, yeah. You know, and and really, I think two two terms. That's it. You're in. You're out. Okay. I don't even like the fact that Cuomo's going for what a third term, fourth term, something like that. Here, you think he's going to get elected? Oh yeah, oh yeah, really? yeah. I have no doubt about it. You know, when they start marching the bar the bodies uh, by, you know, uh, the debate stage. Well, no, uh, believe me. Cuomo will win because in spite of anything, we still love him, you know, uh, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, so uh, there's uh, talking about elections. What's going on in New York? There's a uh, a police captain from Brooklyn, a black police captain that's mm -hmm. running. I forget his name, but uh, I understand he's a pretty good guy uh, and he may clean up uh he may clean up the city again they they really need somebody like him what do you mean they may clean up the city um well you know when you go downstairs are are homeless in uh is there a homeless encampment in front of your building not anymore no there was uh, for a short time yeah yeah but there yeah. is in every city come on san francisco you've got a major problem there with home homeless encampments yeah, I you know, know, but your your building is basically private property, and uh, uh, you know you not have, when you get out onto the street. Yeah, on the sidewalk. I mean, the, the encampment isn't in our courtyard. You know, so why why are these encampments popping up? Well, well, part of the reason why people wound up on the streets in New York was because they chased them out of the subways during the pandemic. So they could clean them up and keep them clean. And there's that many them. homeless in the oh, subway. Oh, at night, if you went in there, I understand at midnight, it's like you know, it's like a motel. Wow. You know, uh, and uh, uh, 
it, but, it, it's a real problem. It's a real but problem. But Oakland and San Francisco is not a subway-driven... Uh, no, but your people are out on the street. You know, there are whole homeless encampments all over California. Yeah. Now, uh, the homeless didn't get COVID. D they didn't? No. Are you I, sure about that, Phil? Yeah. Are you, you know, sure? Are you 100% sure about that it, it, little that, factoid it, of yours? Yeah, yeah, uh, you know, you, you're wrong, uh, Phil. Sure that the you wrong, know, there's no Phil. COVID, and uh, you know, during the initial thing, like in January, I had to be in downtown San Francisco mm -hmm. uh, for a job I was doing. Uh, I did the uh, fourth yeah. floor at Saks Fifth Avenue, and uh, so Union Square was completely devoid of traffic, people. It it was a ghost town at noon. It was a ghost town. Yeah. But if you walked around the corner to where, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, the guy that calls your show uh, lives on uh, in the Tenderloin, uh, there it was bustling, and people were walking all over the place, and nobody was wearing a mask. Hey, listen, we've run out of time here. These people want to want to talk, you know, yeah. and they don't want you to blab on. So. Oh, yeah. Well, That's the way it goes. We'll do it again next week. How's that? Enjoy. If I'm still doing the show next week. Yeah, really. You know. but, yeah, well, uh, feel, feel good. Uh, you know, get some energy. Yeah. Uh, and maybe check your vitamin B. See if that's uh, maybe you're deficient. Get a blood test. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, see if that's what's going on, why you're so tired. That could be. That could be. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, there goes Phil. Thank you, Phil. Bye. Okay. There he goes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's uh, Phil Meyer, and he is uh, doing uh, his best to always piss us off, okay? Um, but uh, he, I'm, he, I was at a disadvantage tonight because I'm a little on the tired side, so I didn't want to get into a big argument and to have to be extra intelligent tonight. Anyway. You did that well. Huh? Not being ex you did that well, not being extra intelligent today. No, and no I'm just, uh, <clears throat> you know. I'm, I've just been tired lately, and I'm still tired. So I, you know, when I'm really tired, I find it hard to get into a, a major discussion with him, you know. But anyway, uh, because he starts pulling out all these facts out of his ass, which you know aren't even true. So. Nope, not even close. <laughs> not even close. Have you have you heard, have you heard that that homeless people don't get COVID? No, that no. is not true. I know. It's, of course, it's not true. And if it were true, then I'd become homeless just so I wouldn't get COVID. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. Phil's a riot. Yeah, Phil is. Uh, but move your camera. Love, Let's see your whole really face is. there, Jeffrey. Let's see your whole face. Move your camera. Oh, yeah. There, okay. you go. there you go. There you go. Or you can... Amazing. His face and audio. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah, and he at did, the did, did them all, yeah. too, tonight without <clears> any <throat> problem, you know. Anyway, hello, Brian Neary. How are you? Good, good. Busy, yeah. busy, busy. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, and uh, Alan, you went out for for steak with uh, with uh, with uh... Paul Paul Jung, uh, several other uh, gentlemen. Yeah, Bill and, and uh, myself. Yeah, we went to Ruth Chris Steakhouse in in uh, Walnut Creek. How, how their, their steaks are pretty expensive, aren't they? It's only money. What do you mean it's only money? It's only money, you know. We had cocktails, then we had steaks for dinner, and, uh, you know, it's all prime beef. It's good stuff. And Phil brought a bottle of wine, and I brought a 1981 Bordeaux. Yeah. They've been saving up all year. They haven't gone out for a year. Got some money there. Yeah, really. I, you know, you got to have some money, Alex. You're not paying rent either. Well, we will be soon. So. Okay. You know. I mean, but anyhow, I, I, they, they, I like everything's speech. back. Everything's back and working here in New York, including the courtroom. <laughs> so, uh -huh. you know, we're back to that. You know, so, um, so that's interesting. Is, isn't anybody else going to call tonight? Is this it? Okay, this is it. Hey, uh, that couple in in Missouri that mm -hmm. came out with their guns. As Black Lives Matter protesters, they were just walking by by their house down the street. They weren't even interested in their house. Right. They, they were yeah. going to protest in front of the mayor's house. Yeah. And these idiots come running out, waving their guns at them. 
for no reason at all. And that's why the conflagration took place, or the is that the yes. word I'm looking for? Maybe that's not the word I'm looking for. Well, I mean, nothing <laughs> happened. They're just, they, they're just raising money off of the fact that they were out there defending their house against Black Lives yeah. Matter. Hey, every, everybody, hey, everybody, wow. cool it. We have broads here now. You know. <laughs> I love you, Alex. Yeah, I love you too, sweetie. Yeah. Broads, huh? Yeah, what? Broads, huh? So it's illegal uh, to... Uh, uh, post pictures of money on according to Google. Yeah, I, no, it's it, it, it for, from what I know. If you ever look at, at money in movies as an example, they never use real bills, right. they use fake money. And the reason they right. use fake money is you're not supposed to photograph currency. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I googled it, and Google says it's fine, really. Yep. Really? Yeah, I looked. It, I looked it up when you said that, and it said yep, all times. The, uh, times may have changed. The yeah. federal government says it's fine too. Yeah, as long as you're not making photocopies of yeah, it. Yeah, as long as you're not making photocopies, you can't copy the right. money. You can take a picture and say, "Look, th- look, Grandma sent me this hundred dollar bill on on Zoom." And, why, why don't they and, let people make photocopies? I mean, come on, does photocopy really time. look like money? They do. Yeah, some copies. It depends the on the paper copier. that gives it software. away. Oh, I see. Okay. Some of the software is pretty good out there. You know, it really pissed me off once. I'm I'm in a, a store and I give the person a twenty dollar bill, <laughs> and uh, the guy looks at it and he says, yeah. it's, "It's counterfeit." I went, "Really?" He said, "Yeah, it is." And I said, "Well, give it back to me, and I'll give you some a real one here." You know? And he said, "I can't give it back to you." I said, why can't you give it back to me? He said, anytime you get counterfeit, we got to turn it over to the banks or turn it over to the cops or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm George that Floyd, like ladies and gentlemen. I'm George Floyd. But what? That seems like stealing 20 bucks from you. Well, but, yeah. but they're not, it, it, it's, but it's counterfeit, so they're not stealing 20 bucks from me. But how would you know? <laughs> but yeah, how do you know? But I wanted to keep it so I could just show my friends my counterfeit bill. You know, totally. Oh, like Charlie's saying, how, how do you know it's really counterfeit? They could just exactly. they could that. just oh, look at this old man. Oh, this is counterfeit. Yeah. Sorry, we well, have to I take think this. he showed me yeah. how, how it was counterfeit. He said, "Feel the paper," and I went, "Yeah, oh. you're right. I could I could tell the difference." Yeah. Oh, okay. And how did they make that bill? What do you mean? How they make it? How did they make it? I don't know. Maybe they sat Enough there. To maybe they the maybe, maybe, maybe they sat there with a with a oh. pen and ink and did it and drew it themselves. I Is it possible know. they used the copier to make that? They may have. Yeah, it's possible, yeah. So we answered your question. No, you right. didn't. Sure. No, you you didn't. said do they have copiers that'll make that? Hmm? They need no moisten, no. you know, spray the paper down, throw it in the dryer with a couple towels. Yeah. Not that I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking. No, so, my, I, my little brother did. You know, this was back in 81 when you're, you know, back in my day, I'm old, you dittoed stuff. Mm. His teacher gave them this money, and man, we so. <laughs> he, my, my brother got so many gifts because he was, we were able to, I don't know. Anyways. Counterfeit money. Totally. <laughs> Dittoed money. I like the I like the way you just threw your brother under the bus. <laughs> he doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. So I but funny, I was I was told the other day by one of our callers to the Monday show that they had seen the new the Woody Allen film that's never been released in this country. Mm-hmm. It's just called uh, 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 Something's Festival. Uh, hold on a second. I think I wrote it down here somewhere. Is this it? Oh, yeah. Rifkin's Festival. And so I went online to f- and found it and watched it. The first minute of the film, there's Bobby Slayton. Oh. <laughs> Slayton? Slayton. Uh. That was the film that Woody flew him all the way to San Sebastian to be in. And he's got one line. <laughs> That's it. One line. He's in and out. 
I wrote him tonight and I said, I just saw you in the film. He says, how'd you see it? I said, I laid my hands on the film. And uh, he, he just has one line. It's the very beginning of the film. He, in fact, is so much in the beginning of that film that he is third billed in the credits because they do it wow. in, in order. Uh, his films, always it's in order of appearance. Chronological order? Yeah, so he comes in, he's the third in uh, appearance. And he doesn't even have a name. It's like festival goer, I think. <laughs> he's Bobby called. Slayton. Yeah. No. Did he make money? Well, he made money. He gets paid for it, you know. Yeah. And they flew him to San Sebastian, and uh, they said, "This is how bad things are now for Woody lately." They said, uh, "He said to them, he said, well, you know, if you're flying me over, it's gonna be a one-day shoot. Can I stay there for about three days, four days?" And they said, "Only if you pay for the hotel, because we're on wow. a very strict budget." So they he went over for did like three days over there four days and just hung out you know, but it must be, huh? Oh, what? Sir. Well, no. Uh, Bobby and 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 Woody had a mutual friend, uh, and it was a friend who put him up in the, his uh, uh, apartment house uh, whenever Bobby would come to town, and uh, the guy happened to get busted about the time he was over there with Woody, and. Of course, the person who introduced this guy to Bobby in the first place was Woody. So he said, how do you feel about your friend getting busted? You know, uh, his friend was a guy by the name of, uh, let me see if I can remember it. Uh, Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein uh, <laughs> was the guy's name. <laughs> and, and They're flying I, I, him to California now, extraditing him on, on charges here too. Who? Jeffrey Epstein? Isn't that the guy that... No, De oh, Jeffrey, oh, Epstein, yeah, yeah. Jeffrey Epstein committed suicide. Oh, okay. Well, forget him. Yeah. Then. Suicide. Thank you. Suicide. Ryan, yeah. I like you. <laughs> you know, now now the side check chat is no longer going after you and me, Alex. Now it's after Kathleen. Yes, good. What are they That's saying? That's not a complaint. That's a compliment. They She's said, a card? Yeah. yeah. Card. You're a card. You. Compliment. What type of card is a compliment? She's a card. She's an ace of diamonds? I'm what? funny. Haven't yeah. you ever heard the term card? No. Oh. You never oh, heard yeah. it as an insult? Well, then I understand why you think Jeffrey Epstein is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> You're a card, too, Alex. I'm a card. I like to be a card. I've never heard the term. Well, it's a rather old term. It's an old-timey term. So I would assume that, uh, let's see here. You're a car. Tell that person thank you. Tyson Acosta is the person who said it. Oh, yeah. Aw, thank winner. you, Tyson. The 14-year-old that's on the, on the chat. Come on. Yeah. But uh, well, did you put this up, Brian? Now it's 8.01? Yep. <laughs> Yeah. No, I put it's eight o'clock. Yeah. And I said now it's eight oh one. Then I said now it's eight oh two. Yeah, this, you're counting the time as the Phil was still on. <laughs> you're getting right? into our yeah. time. This is That's our right. time. Yeah. Oh, it's our time. time. Okay, well. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Go ahead, do do something with then it. it. Then it's like seven seven fifty nine, and then he starts talking about the bombings or something. He always talks about something really really big at the end of the time. He knows. Yeah. But it's your time. Oh, no, the card. The card has her hand up. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, card. Okay, funny story. So I make a stained glass window for Alex. Oh, you did, And it didn't says, you? Alex Bennett. This was years before I knew Alex. So I make him this stained glass window, and I present it to him on the show. And I'm in the studio. And who's sitting next to me? Fucking Bob Rubin. I'm Bobby Slayton, and I was like, okay, here's wow. your window. You know, I love you. I love your show. I'm going to go. And you're like, no, stay. And I was like, fuck. And Bobby Slayton goes, sit now. <laughs> it was the funnest show. Bob Rubin on one side and Bobby Slayton on the other. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Yeah. And it was great. You know, they were both very nice. I mean, we had so much fun. Mm hmm. Yeah. And then yeah. years later, I hook up with Alex, and I go, you know, I gave you something like eight <clears throat> years ago. Yeah, and she mentioned the stained glass window, and I seem to remember that I had stuck it in, over in a corner somewhere, right? 
Yep. And I said, is this it? And she went, yep. yeah. Yeah. And I felt so vindicated because I hadn't lost it. You know. Oh, I mean, I, I wouldn't have cared. I mean, come on, Alex. You were Alex Bennett. You, I can only imagine the thousands of things fans gave you. I used to be a big shot. You were. You used when to I was them seventeen, expired this and expired that. When I was seventeen, oh, come I, on. When I was seventeen, I went to Alex's studio and I said, "Hi, Alex," and he said, "Fuck you, kid. Leave me alone." Did I really <laughs> say that? Uh, I, although although Slayton tells the story about how he first met me outside of Max's Kansas City here in New York, and he was a fan who kept calling the show all the time, right? Oh, really? Wow. Well, we used to have trivia contests, and he and his friend, they called themselves the Yonkers Zonkers or something, would come on, and they would join in on the trivia contest. Anyway, so he... he meets me he, he's, he's uh, he sees me outside of uh out of max's kansas city ready to go in and he says hi i'm bobby i'm a big fan and i went thanks and i just walked right in i just <laughs> i just snubbed him completely all right so now it's years later he's a comic in san francisco and we get to know each other and he says you know you snubbed me <laughs> at max's kansas city years earlier so, you know, be nice to everybody that you meet up with, you know. Oh, my but, parents adored you. Remember coming to my parents' house? Boy, it were you brainwashed. Finished. The living room was concrete, and we were sitting on the mantle. Mm -hmm. And my parents had borrowed chairs from the Gualala Hotel. And that's when my mom did the ugly yawn, and we just lost it. But, you know, it was great. What do you mean, the, then, uh, what do you mean the ugly Leon? So it was What's an Katie, ugly? my what? brother Mike, who worked at yeah. ILM, and you. So you guys were talking yeah. CGI shop. And so it was my mom and I were kind of talking, and, and my, mom, my mom did this yawn. Fuck, it was ugly. It was when you try and hide a yawn. Oh, yeah. So instead of letting your mouth, she went... <laughs> I looked at her. I looked at her and I go, "What the fuck was that?" And that was it. Oh yeah. man, it was a wrap. But anyway, so um, oh, also uh, Tyson's Acosta says you're a hoot. <laughs> She's not a bird. Leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't insulting Kathleen. I was complimenting her. Oh, no. And I'm Tell not 14. I'm 58. You. That's where he got card from. Oh, 58. I see. 58. God, what an thank idiot you. for 58. Oh, God. Come on, Alan. Now you wonder what people start. I, I don't care. <laughs> the guy's always capping on me. I'm just getting back at him. Who's, I am not. Tyson you know. Zacosta doesn't. He doesn't go after you. He does. Oh, no, he doesn't. Thank you. Oh, Thank you, you want me Tyson. to send you the uh, you the, the pictures of it? What? You want me? I, I did screenshots when these people. Uh, you take screenshots. <laughs> yeah, wait, a wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold on a second. Let me yes, get this was. straight. You have so big an ego that you take screenshots of insults in a chat room about you? Absolutely. <laughs> you claim that it didn't bother you when they talked about you. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> Guess his basement. He probably has all those up there with the yarn going to Tysus to everybody. Yeah, yeah. This is the. And yeah. He's gonna take everybody out on the show, and then we find out his basement. He was a quiet guy. Alan was very quiet. Yeah. Mm. Funny guy. You're a funny guy, Brian. Yeah, he is. Actually. Remember, he has a gun. He is. I like. I'm him. a card. Yeah. Yes. Kathleen and I are a couple cards. Yep. Couple card. Couple yeah. hooters. See, nobody calls us. Program. Couple hooters. No, you're the couple hooters. <laughs> nobody calls this program anymore. Yeah. yeah where well, I remember why. I did. I used to call because I didn't want to be on camera. You, you didn't call. Remember? Because you didn't want to be on camera. Yeah. Yeah, it, I called in for like three years, and you were like Skype, 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 Skype. Yeah. Well, a lot of people used to call the old Skype thing sometimes wouldn't have a camera. They would just do the audio Skype, you mm -hmm. know. But, I mean, huh? somebody on the side chat last week said the show's like watching 
paint dry. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I have no energy anymore. So I the Monday show. The Monday this. show. There's like ten people watching, if that. Yeah. yeah. But we all have a good time. Screw everybody yeah, else. You know something. Exactly. But, but then I yep. I take that show, and I put it on um uh on, on YouTube, okay, uh and uh, I get a, a lot of people on that Monday show. So it's really strange. It's kind of a strange thing that is. Uh, uh, so much it's so good you know but it's then, fun yeah oh it's but you know what show. who cares who watches it i mean for us you know i wouldn't have met all these people yeah you know something I mean, that's wait a minute, to me that's the downside no that's the plus <laughs> side. would you have thought i would ever get married do you really want to meet al he met her husband on this show. Come on, you guys. Oh, yeah. Tony. Yeah, her <laughs> husband, Tony. Yeah, yeah. How's the marriage going, by the way, there, Kathleen? Mm. Is it okay? Right. Huh? Where is he now? <laughs> He's at home. <laughs> or at Chinks. By the way. My... <laughs> I think... I'm so sorry. <laughs> my grandfather used to say the same thing. He used uh, to always say, "Why are you always dating these slant-eyed girls?" Anybody here watch? <laughs> oh, uh, anybody watch the Harley Quinn animated series? It's on uh, oh, HBO Max did. now, and it it's really he terrific. If you don't, if you, I, I'm, I've never been crazy about a lot of these animated things they do, but this thing is terrific. It's funny. Wow. It's he said it's it's excellent. It's gut gut busting funny. Yes, but they've got a problem now. They had an episode that's been banned or or or, or not okayed by DC. Oh in, yeah, in, in, <laughs> yeah. Which, in, in which Batman and Harley yeah. Quinn yep. are making love, and he goes yep. down on her. Batman doesn't eat and pussy. They, I read they that. And they, and they said they said no <laughs> superheroes don't eat pussy. I'm sorry. That was really what it amounted yeah. to. Yeah. Uh uh. Yeah, yeah. Bad man. Yeah, so. Um, Circle slash. I would have liked to have seen Harley Quinn get it on with Batman. Jeez, you know. <laughs> yeah. Too bad. Shame. Yeah, there was shame. nothing wrong with eating pussy. Yeah. <laughs> So we're uh, we're uh, we're um, uh, we are at a seventy percent inoculated, vaccinated, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, here in New York. Huh? Is it Texas is thirty five percent? Really? Oh, oh really? God. You only That's have so another thirty five percent to catch up with everybody else. You know, I mean, we're uh, all gonna die. Well, the thing <laughs> oh, is no. that we just opened everything up here. Because we've hit herd immunity it's been open since January. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, exactly. but I mean, but for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> yeah, we're open here in Texas. Yeah, right. An open Keep festering on. sore is what you are in Texas. Yeah. Herd yeah. immunity is a joke. No, it isn't. Sure. So, w what happens when Better. you live? You live in a city like I live near San Francisco. We have foreigners that come in that rather can't get the COVID vaccine or have not got it, and our herd immunity goes out the window. Well, it, it has nothing, to, no, the herd immunity doesn't stop there. The you more know. people you vaccinate, the safer it is. The yeah. more yeah. people, it's basically the more, when you get over a certain point in vaccinations, you have a certain level of safety you didn't have before. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that uh, uh, the question really is, uh, who gets infected here? Who gets infected are the people who haven't gotten the vaccination thus far, but the people who've been vaccinated are all pretty safe to just hang out and be anywhere they want to. And if they're the, with unvaccinated people, it doesn't matter because they're protected. So if seventy percent, so if seventy percent are in that category, you've created a certain level of immunity that you wouldn't otherwise have. Uh, so, yeah. Sounds good, but, oh. but they had the fireworks yep. tonight you're, here. In you're New right, York. Jeff. It sounds good, but it's not correct. I, what? I, I, What's just, not correct? Sounds correct, but it's not good. Well, where I live, they claim that 85% of the people who live here 
I've already been injected. in your community. In my community. Oh, okay. Right. Well, yeah. Good. And so now that the other way is to say, well, fifteen percent are not. That's a substantial amount. Now the next thing is, is at one time, people who were inspected were allowed to go inside the the little building that they have. You know, you can play cards, you can go to the pool, whatever. Or you can you can exercise, whatever. All the equipment. Then they said, well, everybody who comes in has to be like certified, and you got to prove it. And somebody's going to stand there inspecting the place and making sure mm. that everybody who's coming is is okay. That was a week ago. <laughs> now anybody can come in. They should wear a mask if they're not. Yeah, effective. But if eighty-five percent are vaccinated, then the chances of somebody who has COVID coming in and encountering somebody that hasn't been vaccine has, hasn't been vaccinated or is very small. You know how I That's feel. Like you still yeah. have yeah. her. Yeah, yeah. I understand that, but if you're sitting there playing cards with eight people, and you're sitting next to the two guys who have not been in injected then they're going to be infecting each other but not you not not well, not no not. i mean but he could have it and infect the other two who could but have that, it? That, that, we're talking about 85 you got eight you got eight people only one all, of the all people we're all we're saying here is all we're saying here is uh yes the people who aren't vaccinated are subject to getting COVID. my feeling fuck them no, yeah, you know what it's you know. called? B H. Let's see. Uh, B H F T. Boohoo for them. Boohoo for them <laughs> syndrome. If they didn't get va vaccinated. Yeah. I mean, we worked very hard here. We we did our part to get ourselves yep. to seventy yeah. percent vaccination rate. Uh, if you don't want to be vaccinated, you're simply uh, you, you know you're you're simply jumping in on our party. You know, you're coming to our party. Yeah. Uh, and if you don't want to get vaccinated, you're taking a chance of getting, uh, you know, like today, uh, how With many people got, Delta how many variant. people died today, uh, uh, Charlie? I'm, I, I don't see. What was that? How many yeah, people? 335 died. Yeah. It pushed us over to 600,000 yeah. marks. So it, yeah. it, it, if 335 people died, that's 335 dead people. Okay. Yeah. Those are people who didn't get uh, vaccinated. And I'm sure the ones that died today or yesterday uh, died as a result of not being vaccinated yeah. because the vaccine has been around for quite a while now. It's been around long enough that those people would have never gotten it. So these are people. There are some that are dying from the uh, Delta variant yeah. from India who they say, have they been say vaccinated. They say if you've been vaccinated, if you've had your second. They have other uh, health issues. Well, if you've had your second vaccination. Both. No, second vaccination. In other words, they're fully. I haven't seen that. You, 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 no, they said that you that you're you're immune against the Delta as well. Yeah, that's what I saw. Yeah, yeah. That's not what well, I. No, what that happens when well, what happens when tonight. another what happens when another um, uh, uh, mutation happens that the vaccine doesn't work? We all go back to lockdown and masks again. And you know, it's the people that are not getting vaccinated that are going to cause it. Wait, what a what a joy kill you are. I know. <laughs> no, or kill I mean, joy. Listen, Excuse me, I mean you know, kill this, joy. It's the, the Delta I'm, variant, if if you're vaccinated and you get the Delta variant, I mean it's gonna be a if you if you've had your two at uh, the second inoculation. It's not okay, gonna affect you very you, much. You're, you're, the del it is it it. I saw tonight on the good. news on the on the CBS news tonight. They said mm -hmm. the Delta variant is uh, is being held back by people who've had two uh, two shots. They're you know, they're full. In other words, they've just had one chance that Delta could get them. Second one, no. 
Yeah. So, and then I saw that tonight on the news. I didn't hear it wrong. Let's get past the Delta variant and go to the next variant, variant E or seven or whatever you want to call well, it. Well, it could be Delta, that the, it could theta. be it could be that what this will do is prevent those variants from catching <laughs> on. However, what it also may do is if it still could catch on, it may have you get it, but not in the strength that would kill you. They don't know that. But, but, you but know, a lot of company a lot of companies are jumping ahead on this, just like our company. We're already yep. looking for we're already doing a test for yeah. plus that's coming out. And right. we're jumping on this because we know there's a window there that we can make more money. Oh sorry, save more lives. I forgot. Save more lives. It's gonna be just like the nineteen eighteen flu. What what just like the nineteen eighteen flu? No, I mean it's everyone's you know. 90% of the population is going to get inoculated. Well, no, so but there was, there, but there was, be there, there was, a seasonal but thing. there was no vaccination against the, the, the yeah, Spanish yeah, flu. Right. No, no, that's right. How did it, how did they get rid of it? Kathleen, do you know? People started wearing ma people. Everybody wore masks. Exactly. Everybody people started masks. wearing masks and it ran its course. That's right. If you and wear masks, but it, also do COVID they could have done the same thing. We yeah. don't know. Yep. Also, it's easier to tweak the vaccine once a new variant comes out. It's not as hard exactly. as coming up with a whole new vaccine. But now you got to right. vaccinate the entire population again, Charlie. Uh, no, so, some may need give me another boosters, shot. some may so, not. So, uh, I mean, we were able to yeah. do it this time. We, we could do like it again. Hard. And and the fact of the matter is probably we're going to have to get another inoculation at the end of about yeah. six months to yeah. keep this one potent. Okay, so I mean that's always a possibility, but you know every year you go out and get a flu shot. A flu I do. Shot. Yeah. You know I go and get the flu shot, and so this is we may have to every year get a new uh, new COVID flu booster, as it were. Yes, uh, yes, Kathleen. Um, we're Ka not doctors. Or is, it, or is it Catherine? Oh, it's Kathleen. <laughs> that's my sister. We're not doctors, but we just played doctors on. Yeah, on TV, yeah. <laughs> on the on the web. <laughs> yeah, disclaimer. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I you know, I mean, there's always the possibility this thing could come back. But if it's going to come back, it's going to come back because of the people in this country who aren't getting vaccinated in certain states and around the world. And those people you know, are yeah. coming into our country for business and pleasure. Yeah, that's right. But you know, uh, maybe we can have another concert, <laughs> vaccine aid. So in, 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 there you go. In virology, if you were able to stop, if we were able to stop the the the, uh, the COVID dead in its tracks around the world, mm -hmm. it wouldn't have another chance to mutate. But we can't. A lot of the world is not vaccinated like we are, and so we what? will we will not get to herd immunity until the world. Is truly well. We, I think we can get to a point of herd immunity here in this country if we would just all get vaccinated. It would certainly help. And that's if for it, sure. it, you know, and if you're not going to get vaccinated, wear a fucking mask. You know, I, uh, I think I know how the Republican. But the mean, same people. It's funny. The same people who don't want to uh, wear masks are the same people who don't want the vaccine. Right. That's right. what's yeah. strange about it. You know. Yeah. It, it, so at least, you know what. Hmm? That's why gonadism is down. Gonadism <laughs> is down. Yeah, hypogonadism. So, Hypo so I, I think I think the way to to resolve the voting problems that the Republicans love to seem to screw with is all they got to do is make a, a policy that if you don't wear a mask, you can't vote. The Democrats. No, I, I listen. I don't. I don't really care. But they should have like Republican voting places, okay, where they can give it to each other. You know, I mean, I mean, <laughs> well, here, here's, how, here's how, 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 how are they going to here, give it to each other? Here's how stupid Trump was. He didn't think that if he didn't get people to take vaccinations or he didn't have them wear masks or whatever, that the basic people are going to get killed are Republicans. They're the anti-vaxxers. I'm, I'm not a Republican. I stayed home for those that year and a half. I, I didn't leave the house, you know. 
I, I sprayed my packages with Lysol every time they would come in, you know. Lucky you could find them. When I worked at Costco, I put my life on the line for all of you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. You're a card. Thank you. Whatever yeah, a card I, 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 I couldn't believe that. Just before the panic, when the Costco, all the racks were empty. I took pictures of that. I'm like, unbelievable. I've never seen that. Right. Right. I worked in their refrigerated building, so we were in 38 degrees. For I have so much toilet paper. So you, I have so much the, toilet paper. The highest risk. I have so much toilet paper in this house. Much. That I, was I, the I, building yeah. next door. We felt bad for them. We were laughing, going, man, nobody's hoarding ice cream. Freaking, you know, frozen this, frozen yeah. that. But boy, in the other building, water and toilet paper. Oh, my God. You guys are fucked. So <laughs> during the winter, a cook. The COVID virus is related to cold type viruses, and Rest they're expecting to see another surge oh, when the, when when the fall happens. You know what we didn't have this winter? We didn't have colds. Flu. Colds. No. And flus. Yeah. And flus. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah. You know, I saw an article today just saying that uh, COVID is now becoming a, a Republican disease because all of the Democratic-controlled states are uh, getting getting vaccinated and the yep. Republican controlled states aren't. So COVID yep. is accelerating in Republican states. Yep. Yeah. I think and look totally at you right. guys. You, you guys, how high, how, how are things doing in Texas? Is it? But plus, they're not reporting the real numbers either. I mean, Texas is not. Why would they? Well. Damn. Yeah. California yes. is one of the lowest in the country. Yes, Ka yeah. yes Catherine. <laughs> Smoothie. Charlie, Farts. what does your shirt signify? That oh. is a statement by Stephen Hawking. It says, intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. Fucking awesome. Good idea. Okay. That's t Stephen F. Hawking. Oh, he's got the best shirts. Is Stephen yeah, Hawking the dad, really Charlie smart guy that was, that was a quadriplegic or something like that? Yeah, he's in the wheelchair because he had Lou Gehrig's disease. Oh, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah. brilliant. Yeah. 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 Was, uh... Well, I'm going to go to uh, Georgia on uh, Saturday. Are you really? Oh. Why? You're, you, yeah, you're... well, my sister's having surgery. Oh, well, I see. Okay. Okay. going to spend three weeks with her. Well, our Monday show has a caller from down there. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, she has a fan club. She does have yeah. a fan club. She has gotten quite a fan club. Are Is you going to be calling us while you're down there, Jeff? Yeah, I'll call her on, uh, on the Monday call. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. yeah. Yes, 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 uh, yes, uh, uh, Kathleen. Jeff. What is behind the French doors? <laughs> Frenchman, Ooh, what do you think? I just know those people. It, it's pool and tennis courts. Okay. <laughs> Come on. I'm behind simple. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I think it's on a tour. It's where the Playboy <laughs> channel was yeah, from. Exactly. Brian did. <laughs> yeah. On Come on, Jeff. You By can tell way, us it's where the Playboy channels film. Did, did anybody see? Uh, did anybody see the interview with Putin that NBC did? Oh, no. No. Um, pretty poor reporter doing that. Uh, the interview wasn't that good because I don't think the re interviewer was that good. But um, it's interesting, and I've I've seen this with Putin before because I think I can't remember who did an interview with him. Arad, uh, uh, Stone Oliver Stone did an interview with Putin. Do you remember that way back when? Yeah. And 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 what I found then with Putin and what I found out with him now is how much he knows about American history. Mm. Yeah. He, he's very aware of American history. He's very aware of American politics. Very smart. He, he knows the He's Senate. A very he, smart guy. He, he knows the Congress. He knows the relationship between the two of them. Yeah. And um, he even brought up Black Lives Matter in this interview. Mm -hmm. and, um, and saying that, you know, well, if it happened here and it was violent, we'd do something. We would about kill him. It. We'd do oh, something yeah. about it. But, you know, uh, the way they're doing it, uh, they seem to be rather 
handling it okay. In other words, it was, a, it was kind of an interesting interview, but I couldn't get through the whole thing because this interview was so bad. And then the whole thing it had to be translated as they went oh. along, you know. And what's funny about it is Putin could do the interview without a translator. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he speaks English. He speaks perfect oh, English. totally. But he doesn't want to. He's a smart guy. Trump thought that he was friends with Putin. Putin was using Trump like a oh, playing him like a well-tuned violin. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Trump was an idiot to think that this guy was using Trump because they were friends. Once Trump was out of office, you know, Putin lost Trump's phone number. <laughs> Doesn't well, need him anymore. Well, well, Goodbye. Well, the other thing about Putin is, is that Putin knew uh, with him the one way in which you get him uh, in, the, in the palm of your hand, and that's Compliment. by complimenting him. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And absolutely. pretending like you know you're his pal. Yep. Alex, you look so nice tonight. By the way, the light really reflects you well. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that? Are you joking? <laughs> I was just being sarcastic. That's all. What do you oh, mean? Get, get rid of him. What's wrong with the lighting tonight? <laughs> no, you're no, fine. No, he compliments them to make him feel good. So fuck it. Do, there we go. No, 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 no. Go back to the other one. I don't need the <laughs> lights. Like oh my god! Don't do that one. <laughs> I, don't I like the lights. other lighting better. I wish get I could. Remember better. when I used to read you your horoscope? Did you? Right oh, after yeah. sex. I'd read mine, and then you'd go read mine, and it was me, 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 my career. You think they're going to fire me? Do you think it's cancer? Me, me, me. Yeah. What's yeah. <laughs> you know, me. Kathleen, nothing has changed. That's no. right. You should compare notes with Marjorie. She'll probably just go along with what you just said. Oh, my God. <laughs> Even back then, he was worried about cancer? Wow. No, wait a minute. What is wrong yeah, with my... Yeah, you know, he was a high contract. Hold on a Do second. you think I would let Alex oh, die? Wow. I mean, for fuck's sake. What is wrong with my lighting? No, nothing. Alex. Nothing. Oh, he was telling you there's you were nothing. talking about Putin complimenting Ryan. Trump. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with your lighting, Alex. It looks good. My lighting He was just giving you. He was giving you a compliment. Yeah. Oh, it's like you said... Putin did to Trump, that's all. Right. Yeah, but anyway, so... What are you eating, Brian? Brian always is eating. Always eating. eating. Grapefruit. Oh, grapefruit. Oh, Oh. very good. Good for you. One of the three people on the show that's not on (laughs) blood pressure medicines and can't... Uh, By the way, you know, I found the fruit of the gods. I I, I love the fruit of the gods. I have decided that the best food that you can eat, if you're especially on a low-carb diet, Mm -hmm. avocados... Oh, yes. Because they yeah. not only do they taste good, not it's only good are they rich in all kinds of good things for you, but they also work as a, uh, a, a what do you call it, a, a, a hunger inhibitor. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and they also lower your metabolism, erase your metabolism. Erase your metabolism. Yeah. Yeah. If I took yep. avocado they are maybe out and put my uh, girlfriend in, uh, that would work too. That's why they're so expensive. What? So that's why they're so I don't know that they're that expensive. No. You know, I get a bag of them for five bucks. Costco. Not in Texas. Yeah. Costco are really Five good. bucks? Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. You know what else is good? Beets. So I used to take supplements before I would bodybuild. So now I take beets, and what it does is it opens up all your blood vessels. So you get bigger pulls. Wow. And it's all natural. Yeah, right. I swear by beets. That's what borscht is. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I don't like beets. I hate yeah, beets. The, oh. the only way I like beets is borscht. Uh, and then I love it, you know, but not with the uh, not with the beets in it, but strained. <laughs> and then you take you, you like take, the beet wait juice. A minute, you know what you do? You you take cold, cold, you cool borscht down so where it's cold, really cold. And then you pour it into a bowl, and on top of it, you put it in a hot temp- potato in there, potato. and then cover that with some sour cream, and you got your. Am I am I right, Jeff? I know about it. I've seen it. I've seen all kinds of people eat it. I don't trust it. 
Why, <laughs> what, what, what do you mean you don't trust it? I don't like and it. I respect you. You're so honest. Well, you know what it is? I'll tell you why yeah. I like it. Because my mother used to make it, and whatever your parents made for you when you were yeah. growing up is comfort food. Yeah, like you know what my you know my me. mother made oh. that I've learned how to make myself and that I love, and I think I used to make it for you, uh, uh, Shmoody, uh, was um, tripe. Yes. Yeah. Which is the inner lining of a cow's stomach. Yep, it's like menudo. Yeah, well, it is menudo. That's that's <laughs> another is. name for it. And what you do is you make it, and you, then you cook it in 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 the, in the sauce, and it when you're through it, it has an interesting it's just texture. Just like chicken. No, it, you know what it is. Certain foods we eat for texture. Yeah. You know yeah. the reason we like pasta is because of the texture of pasta, not because there's any real taste of pasta. It's just yeah. you know the flour whatever it, it 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 what we eat it for is the way it cuts the tooth you know mm -hmm. and uh, so uh in the case of tripe i eat it for the texture the texture is wonderful honeycomb <laughs> tripe oh just the best i don't make shake and bake my mother used to do shake and bake chicken all the time uh, well that, course, that's that's a that's that's cowardly <laughs> what you do is you oh. just take flour and you coat the chicken with it you don't need shake and bake yeah well she well, also needs you know what it's the oven like a little higher it's like in mexico it's like tacos de lengua tongue or tacos oh, de I love, oh there's another Brain. one I, there's another one i love oh cow's okay. tongue is great Already tongue is yeah. boiled, terrific. boiled cow's tongue yep 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 anybody here like cow's tongue Maybe I like oh, yeah. you, what, what kind of a Jew are you, Jeff? <laughs> yeah. A smart Jew. I like Spanish food. No, but I mean, well, the, well, the tongue is a Spanish like tapas? dish. What? Yeah. Tapas, okay. Tongue on tapas, there you go. Yeah, of course. But, 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 no, but tongue is terrific. I love a tongue sandwich. So, <laughs> when you make, I'm not going to go right. any further with that. How, do you do it like for... For 24 hours? No, no, pot. no. You just you just cook it. It takes about a couple hours, you mm. know. And you put it in kind of like a, 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 a tomato broth, and you just let it cook. And it, it, you throw in some like some carrots, a few things like that, and it, it's really it's terrific. Yeah. But you have to cut it in strips, so it comes out in strips. And it, it's really good. I mean, it's terrific. I, I loved it. That, I love tongue, because my mother used to also serve tongue. I think we were thought you, you were talking about uh, Schmoody's tongue. <laughs> well, I won't get into that. That was a no. <laughs> we'll leave it to your Alex, imagination. Yeah, Alex was. But a fine tongue it was. Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, I did not dislike her tongue. Okay, good, good. And she Can didn't dislike we... mine either when I made it for dinner. Okay, so thank you. <laughs> and her tongue for dinner. That was good. Okay. Yeah, no, but tongue is is it, it's it's really good. If you go into any delicatessen here in New York, you can get tongue on a sandwich. Yeah. Hmm. Any Jewish delicatessen, especially. Mm -hmm. There isn't any other kind of delicatessen now. Well, on the West Coast, that. You know, that's the only place you're going to find tongue. No, no, but I mean, it, 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 all uh, delicatessens Jewish are Jewish delicatessens. Oh, I see. Otherwise, it's not a delicatessen because yeah. to begin with, where does the word derive itself from? Uh, Essen, to eat. Yiddish, for eating. Essen. Uh, and it's a delicatessen. So the Arab delicatessens that are in my neighborhood here, those <laughs> they are They don't Jewish. have Arab delicatessens. <laughs> And they don't have they don't have Italian delicatessens. They're called pizza parlors. Yeah, you know that was humor. Okay. Sorry, thank you very much. <laughs> Boy, I get no respect on this show, right, Brian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I quit too. Yeah. So how how was your weekend with uh, with the ki with the kids? Good. Next weekend, <clears throat> next weekend is uh, Father's Day. We're going over to my friend's house Saturday, but then Sunday we're going to Great America. No masks. 
Oh, oh really? nice. Oh, okay. Hey. Yeah, you still you still have to reserve a spot, so we still had to go online. But we did this a couple of weeks ago for Father's Day, so we still have to reserve. But then, so they have limited people going in. But then, yeah, no mask. Yeah. I do, I think uh, you know, in spite of the fact that we're now on the other side of this COVID pandemic. I still think we're going to adhere to some rules. I know that I'm not. Oh, going, absolutely! I'm not going to a movie theater anytime soon. Nope. You know, if nothing more, because I got used to not going to movie theaters, and I don't have to put up with people kicking the seat in back of me. Mm-hmm. You know, and I can watch all those movies here. Do you, you make know? your own popcorn? Oh yeah, Costco, yeah. Costco popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Do they have those recliner seats in your theaters? Uh, yes, yeah. absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Same here. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, I think they put those in most theaters now. I, I, I think that it's become a kind of almost. Uh, am I right? Most theaters have installed those now. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the hours I used to work, and I would fall asleep on you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, especially during sex. And I'm dumb. No, good God. The movie theater. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 I missed that part. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. She, she was one of those people who couldn't stay awake in the movie. Well, uh, Marjor- <laughs> Marjorie's that way. Marjorie's that yeah. way. Best way to get her to get a nap, go to a movie. Have you ever thought that <laughs> it know? might be you that they're falling asleep to? No. 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 But I mean, you're so relaxed in those chairs. Yeah, exactly. The chairs so are pretty comfortable. Alex has some good energy. Well, no, the yeah. reason I would rather she fall asleep watching a movie at home rather than a movie theater is something like fifty dollars. Yeah. Okay, you know, <laughs> because when we go to a movie, we go to the three D movie, and yeah. it's like uh, between the two of us, seniors, it comes to forty five dollars, yeah. wow. and then it costs us. About oh, twelve dollars each way to go back and forth to. Th- Before we're through, we spent with the popcorn and everything. We spent eighty yep. bucks to go to a movie, right. and then it sucks. Yeah, yeah. and you, you complain know? about spending all that money on the tennis gym. I mean, they should have an anti anti. They should have an anti suck guarantee. If the movie sucks yeah. and you don't like it, you get your money back. Get your you know, pop- yes, yep. Kathleen. I'm talking about the uh, press screenings. Oh, the Remember? press screenings, yeah. Yes. Well, we, we used Those to go Those were the, fun. We went to the press screenings. Yeah. yeah, you, me, Michael. I don't think I... We very seldom ever paid for a movie. Never. Yeah. yeah. Nope. You went to the theater, the, you went up there and said, I'm Alex uh, Bennett. The guy says, come on in. No, man, he was Alex Bennett. I was Alex I know, Bennett. I get it. No, wait, 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 let's get this straight. I used to be Alex Bennett. Okay. Fucking A, we'd be walking <laughs> towards the theater and people would be saying all, woo! It was surreal. They were talking about, like, they were looking at you, Kathleen, and going, woo! No. <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. Never, I, I remember. I remember when Alex Bennett was uh, here in San Francisco. He was uh, somebody very important. No, no, no. The most surreal thing for me was <laughs> walking down the street with Alex. You know, I'm six foot. Alex six one, and then Buddy Love six four on the other side of me, in his fucking suit, and we're walking down the street. And I looked at both of them, and I said, "Fuck! I can't believe this shit's happening." Yeah, yeah, a lot of tall people. That's for damn yeah. sure. It was, I mean, but you know, everybody was so down to earth. I was very hip to the hanger honors. Yeah. You know, it's just fascinating yeah. to see all the bullshit that went beyond. Behind well, I, the I like those hanger honors because they kissed my ass, and I like that. Anyway, uh, Brian, good seeing you again tonight, pal. Anytime. I'm glad some of you showed up tonight. This is a very small group tonight, but it was a good group. Uh, uh, Alan, thank you so much. Thank you so much to the lovely and attractive Charlie Wallace. Jeff, always uh, good to having you here. And, of course, the lovely and attractive Schmoody, better known as Catherine. Anyway. Catherine. <laughs> Catherine. My sister. Yeah. Anyway, everybody, why don't you give a big wave goodbye, and we'll give a big wave goodbye at you, Okay. There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. 
Let me just get rid of them. By the way, Jack Bishop is next with the intersection. He's going to be here doing that on Skype, and you call GabNet Live. That's the Skype ID for you to call for his show. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night uh, at, uh, I think it's 8.30. The sports show is on. And then after the sports show uh, at 10.30, I'll be right back here. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be sure you get inoculated, okay? And if not, wear a mask. But to the rest of you, have fun in the new non-pandemic times in some of the states we live in. Good night, everybody. See you later.